All right. All right, so good morning, everyone. Let's get started. This is week seven of our eight week course. Okay, so um, yeah, let's go ahead and begin. Let's start with our facial exercises. So open your mouth as wide as you can. Open wide, keep that mouth open, turn your head looking up, and then close your jaw, bring that chin towards your nose. You should feel a nice stretch running down the neck. So again. Just repeat about seven or eight times. Very good. Just gently, just palpate soft touches from your ear lobes down your jawline. Gentle touches. Let's go from the side of our eyes down to the side of our face. Gentle. Let's go with our knuckles, just rubbing on our cheeks. Go ahead, and inhale through your nose for about three seconds, and then exhale through a small windpipe of your lips for about five to seven seconds. So inhale, exhale. Get all that air out. More. Very good. All right, just make a huge air bubble on your cheeks. Just move that air pocket left, right. Let's go ahead and do that. So puff your cheeks up, and then air pocket left, right. Mm -hmm. All right, and then last one, let's just puff up our cheek and just help paint our cheeks here. So puff them up with air. Just gently touch his hair. It's probably going to come out, but just repel them up with air. We're just going to promote um, blood flow as your cheeks, skin is stretched out. And then let's just move that pocket up there, up the lip, lower the lip, back and forth. Very good. We're going to move on to our neck stretches, okay? So our neck, let's just gently start left to right, which is... Left to left to
Ja, ich bin der. Which is your head should be moving. You're breathing comfortably. Do some jets and next ripple. Switch. Sit. All right, let's sit on our left hand. You'll place your left hand under your leg. Bring that right arm over and that weight of your arm. So lie your gently stretch your neck. Turn it and switch. Sit on that right hand. Left hand comes over. And do a little of isometric work. So it's actually going to be working on this left side. So I want you to place your hand here on your right side and really try to push against it with your head. You should work a little bit of tension here. So let's do about five pushes for a three second hold on each side. Okay. So imagine your hand is a wall and you're just pressing against it. One, two, three, relax, press, one. Two, three, two, three, two, two more time. One, two, three, two, Last one. One, two, three, two, 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 Again, one, two, three, three, again, one, two, three, three, two more time, two, three, three. one more, one, two, three, three. Okay, now both hands are cut, kind of uh, making a little barrier on your forehead, and then push forward with your head. You should put it on the back of your head now. Ready? Push. One, two, three, relax. Go. One, two, three, relax. Go. Two more. Go. Last one. Very good. All righty, let's continue. Okay. So now we're gonna go ahead and start working on our upper shoulders and still part of our neck. Okay, so make a fist, both hands clap together. 
in front of you. You can look down and you can look push forward after you look down. So look down first, and then push forward. That's, we'll do 10 of those. You look down, touch. Again, go. Again, go. Again. Two more times. Last one. And again. All right. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and do some shoulder circles, okay? So shoulder circles and be upright. Try not to slouch too much like I was just now. You're gonna be upright and you're gonna rotate the shoulders up, forward, down, back. Reverse. Very good. All right, we're going to go ahead and do our hand traction pose. Okay, so hands up, reach to the top of the pose, all the way to the bottom. Okay, down. Okay. Go up, straight, 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 and then at the bottom, I don't know, just curve. Right. So eight of those. more and then left to back right it's moving on to our shoulders so no angels Okay, so we're going to do shoulder press motion. So have your thumbs out or pointed out or towards your shoulders. What I want you to do is on your way down, if you can, have your, your thumbs touch your shoulders and set on the way up. And then again, on the way down, make that contact with your shoulders. So you're really dropping those elbows down. So those thumbs touch your shoulders and go back up.
And then the thing I write on the cross, just rest the shoulder a little bit. I think out of all the stretches they do, my shoulders usually end up a little bit sore or somewhat sore after this um, session. Go ahead and switch. Bring that arm behind the back, drop that palm behind your back. And if you can, you can push down on that elbow a little bit. The more of a tricep stretch. We're in October already, just realized October second. And let's go ahead and bring the elbows in. Out. Very good. All right, elbow in, turn inwards. And then switch, elbow in, inwards. Okay. All right, little extra movement here. So bring that elbow up and just drop that fist forward and that. So you don't need to have your uh, opposite hand holding your shoulder. I just, it keeps me um, notice if my shoulder is dropping. So I don't want the elbow here. I want it here.
Okay, let's go ahead and start working on our elbows and our biceps, so palms facing the screen, and then just tapping your opposite shoulder. Again, if anyone has a request for a stretch or a muscle group you want to work on, just let me know. I'll break through with the class. Now pumps up here and then push down, working on extending the triceps. And try to get a full stretch. Let's go ahead and then just grab the backrest of our chair or the side of the chair and just turn as much as you can without causing any pain. So as long as you're doing a nice stretch, so just hold and rotate. You're breathing comfortably. Switch. Very good. All right. Let's just work on our hands a little bit. So don't, you know, I do. Well, I know I, I personally don't work on my finger joints and hand joints enough. So just bring each finger to the center of your hand and try to do this without bending the knuckles or bending that middle knuckle. So just keep that finger straight as much as possible. All right. Now let's do it with bending each knuckle and one at a time. Make a fist and relax. Fist, relax. Fist, relax. Fist. The chance. So now each finger to the center of your hand individually. Remember to avoid bending the knuckles. Another time. Okay, you can then need to shuffle now. Make a fist. Relax. Yes. Relax. Good morning. All right, working our way down to the hips. So standing, sitting upright. Sitting towards the edge of the chair, bring your right knee out and try to avoid that leg from collapsing. So just keep it as upright or hold it with your hand there.
Twitch. All right, let's do a performance stretch. So let's go ahead and bring your right heel on that left knee. So the okay. That one puts down on that knee. Bring that knee up to your chest, hold it, snug it. Switch to so left heel on that right knee. Right here. Press gently down on it. Bring that knee up, just hug it. All right, let's go ahead and just recline back. Bring that leg up to your chest. Do leg extensions here. Let's do about 10 of these pumps. Switch. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of balance work. So this feet, actually, let me bring the camera down a little bit. Make our way down to our lower legs. Maybe here. And then we're going to do um, 10 standing squats. So from here, there's no hands. Just stand up. Yeah, so we'll see 10 of those. 
So able to stand up without the assistance of your hands. Again, it's just kind of simulating that you, know, you had an injured wrist. Um, you're sitting on a small stool, a small chair with no railing assistance. So two more. Very good. Go ahead and relax for a second. Let's go ahead and take one minute break. Grab some water, actually. Some water, real quick. Water break. Okay, right, as we continue um, here, we're going to do the same thing, but now we're going to extend one of our um, foots, one of our feet, feet, foot, um, here, and then again without the assistance. And if this seems a bit easy right here, we'll learn just putting all the weight mainly on that um, bent knee. If that seems easy enough, then I want you to elevate this leg. And that becomes more of a challenge. So again, stuff like this is what we're going to be um, doing on our joint health and balance class that starts in two weeks. And most of it is geared to um, prevent falling, right? So usually as we age, um, our bones just kind of get a little bit more um, spongy-like. Um, sometimes it's more porous-like, so we just have to make sure that we, we keep them healthy. So left leg extended. Had a video I was curious or thinking about showing you folks, but it just reminded me of being in my <laughs> my physiology class back in college and a lot of you know molecular stuff going on. Um, but it was talking about um you know, the, what happens to the heart after the age of 35 and come up. So pretty much between the age of 35 and 55, I believe, 35 and 50 or 35 and 55, the, the heart um, begins to, I guess, stop completely like developing or, or getting bigger and it actually starts getting smaller at a small rate. Um, so we just did this here. Let's go ahead and do a heel raises. And um, it talks about, um, you know, and then as from 55 onwards, um, it just starts um, getting um, less, less active or it starts um, to, I guess, get smaller or work as intense um, at a, at a, smaller rate at a at a slower rate so that causes the heart to kind of lose a little bit of its size but um it was going over um you know things to do um or things they they looked at during the study um that either maintain the heart to stay um the same size um so it could work just as hard as it used to um during the younger years or um you know, and, and what happens um, also for the group that's 55 plus, and they found, and then let's go up and down. So you guys are enrolled in these classes. <laughs> you guys are doing the right things. So now toes up. So um, the same, um, being active four um, to six days a week. Um, and those four to six days, and again, this is um, completely different than um, your typical, um, you know, your your guidelines that you hear 150 minutes per week 
Um, that's to have a healthy um, lifestyle that covers most of the things that could go wrong with this. But this one just focus on heart um, size and its power. Um, let's go ahead and do our ABCs. So it did talk about, um, so it's different guidelines. Um, they mentioned 46 um, workouts per week. Um, and by I mean workouts, you know, workout could be a 30 or 40 minute walk around the neighborhood. Um, it could be gardening. Um, but it did ask to do at least one um, workout where you're doing four sets of four um, intense minutes, um, if that makes sense. So uh, for instance, like on Mondays when we work out and we do our sets of, I think we did this last week, we did um, three sets of 10 minutes hard. So something like that definitely qualifies because it's looking for about um, 15 minutes or 16 minutes of hard effort um, once a week. And just Monday alone, we did 30 minutes. So um, yeah, I think if for you folks that are, you know, of course, trying to stay healthy and maintain your lifestyle as obvious as possible, um, if you're enrolled in these classes, I mean, not just mine, I know um, Carmen mentioned she's enrolled in one on Sunday mornings. Um, you know, there's many options. Or if you're just going on walks, I know a lot of the ladies go on walks too. Um, then you're doing the right thing. You're you're, you're pretty much um slowing down that uh, degradation of of the heart. So let's go ahead, feet are flat, and then just fall onto the floor. So just put your toes, fall, bring them back. But yeah, it's um I said the the video is there. It's about four, 11 or fourteen minutes long. I don't want to bore you guys because it did seem like a lecture at a back in school, but um, but that's what the study um talked about. So yeah, good stuff. Very good. And then it's it's the time. It's nine fifty right now. Let's go ahead and do our shoulders. Now, so you could get on your feet. Let's go ahead and do our shoulders with our pull. Our pull or pull roller, whatever type of stick or rod you have. I have a command stick here. Okay, so I'm here and just holding on this. Going back to right. Now, let's hold a little bit more. As far as physical activity, besides walking or gardening, um, would anyone like to share what else they do outside of these classes and walking and gardening? Did you do anything else? Okay, let's put on that. Okay. This helps you share ideas. Let's go 30 degrees forward. Dixie. Does anyone have a gym membership where they go to a local gym and maybe use some other weights or a physical therapy club? Nineties, right in front of you. Well, let's go back. I'm sorry if I'm asking in the middle of an exercise. I know that's usually the issue. Trying to get a stretch on and I'm asking for a request. Right, right shoulder now. Right 
30 degrees. Right, shoulder, not to give you a top of ninety, turn from the in the back. Shoulders, you get the full band of that and then up and down. And then back. Right. On the fall away. And then let's go ahead and get on the floor for our yoga mats. We'll finish off on the floor right here. Yeah, but if anyone wants to share what they do for physical activity outside of these classes or walking or gardening, be awesome. Okay, so let's go ahead and go belly down on your elbows. In here, just rest, hang out. Someone put something on the chat. Hello, this is Ella. I wanted to share, I do Tai Chi at Cerritos Senior Center oh. on Mondays and Wednesdays. Mondays. Oh yeah, that's, that's what you did before this, right? That's at 7.30, yes. Tai Chi. That's awesome. How do you like it, Ella? Oh, I love it. It's uh, it's kind of a combination of exercise and meditation. Yeah. It's sort of a moving meditation, I'd call it. Mm -hmm. But we stand for the hour and we're always moving. Nice. And we do joint exercises, too, in there. Um at the beginning, some of yeah. the same exercises we do in your class. Absolutely. Cool. Awesome. Bring your glutes back to your heels. And then I think Estrella um, put down that she does dancing and yoga. That's great too. So yeah, just constantly moving is always good. Let's go ahead and get on my back. We're almost done. How about it? about five to eight minutes left so arms spread out here sit up position and then we're just going to go ahead and drop the knees back to side Let's keep moving next to side we'll do about 10 on each side Yeah, when um before I explored hiking and you know I was just a runner and I thought I was the doing the most, but um so I would see you know we're running up hills and 
running 15 miles. I would see hikers and I thought hiking was like something, you know, less challenging and not as enduring. And oh boy, was I wrong. Um, you know, I tried that out. I remember my first long hike and I was sore for about a week. And um, again, what you just said right now all about Tai Chi, like I remember also during my high school years, uh, we would run out of park. Now let's go with the crunch motion. So a position here and drop. I would go to this park and out there by like um, Hacienda Heights. And it's called Shabaram Park. And I would see folks doing Tai Chi. And I didn't know what it was back then, but now I look back and yeah, it's definitely Tai Chi. And yeah, I think just as you're constantly moving and just, you know, without stopping and just moving your body, doesn't matter how fast or slow, yeah, your joints are still getting work pretty good. So, yeah, but you're finding other things to do uh, as well outside of the classroom. So this next one, um, this this one's called uh pelvic tilt. So you probably heard it on like yoga sessions. Um, anything that you're working on the mat, so you're here. Your your back is pretty much if your hips are down, your shoulders are down. Your um, you might not have a little arch down here on your lower back. But the pelvic tilt would just be bringing or rolling your hips. Um, so if we're here. Yeah, so if your hips are here, the pelvic tilt would make your hips kind of um, roll um, upwards. We want to develop that arch under your back and then collapse it. So develop, collapse it. Okay. If you have that little space under your back, and your hips. Let's just go through the hips. Okay. A good stretch to do before you get out of bed. So from here, let's go ahead and then let's bring your knee to your chest for as high as you can. Once it's there, let me push it off to your side. And then this one. It's almost like a, a hip opener, but you're on the floor here and you're holding. So because we're laying flat. The weight of the leg shouldn't really fatigue you, but the stretch um, of this joint might irritate it a little bit or might be a little bit uncomfortable, but as long as it's not painful, um, you know, it just stretch that joint. You know, just fill it back in and then pop out. The deep breaths, and you go a little bit further. And then up and see how we can and up to the side. Uh -huh. so let's go ahead, lay on your side, swing that top leg as far forward as you can, and drop it. Look what nice work on the hunch one.
I'm just doing it all the way as far back as you can. And then drop that through. Switch sides. You want to let it fold now. And then your side. And your top leg as far forward as you can. Just don't. Bring it all the way forward back as you can. Drop it. Yeah. Right. And that's a nice job. It's a um, both of you, so just stack the legs here, your hands. So, and then just open all the right hand all the way down. Okay. Okay, we're going to do eight of these on each side. Last one, let's just switch sides. Alrighty. Mm -hmm. Let's do it for today and this week for us. Okay. Any questions before we head out? No questions. Alrighty. So uh, with that being said, um, I'll see you folks next week for week number eight. And then uh remember after next week we roll into um the next um term which is eight weeks so, <laughs> Carmen hello Denise my niece hi hello wrong okay. yeah <laughs> all righty folks so you guys enjoy your day and then Carmen I'll see you in two weeks um enjoy your trip everyone else I'll see you next week all thank right. you have a good one thank you Bye, bye bye folks thank you